We are underneath the hood of a 1967 Pontiac GTO, a real 242 code car with the correct YZ code engine that belongs in it, which is a 360 horse hypo motor. It's a high output engine that Pontiac had as, a, Pontiac had as an option. It does have the correct split style exhaust manifolds on it, the original style quadrajet carburetor on the original cast iron intake manifold on it. Car has no leaks whatsoever on top of it to correct Pontiac valve pan covers and air cleaner that go with, with the 360 motor. The fender wells on the inside, your inner fender panels and the uh, firewall are untouched. No one's rattle canned them. They are the original um, semi-flat black paint that this car would have been uh, released with. Same thing across the front here. It has the uh, uh, shroud type uh, cover so that you're protected from the uh, aluminum blade fan that would have been standard equipment on this car. It has a high capacity radiator on it, the correct style hoses, top and bottom. Uh, the heater is still hooked up and functional for the uh, passenger compartment. It has power steering, it has power disc brakes. Um, it appears to be a new uh, dual stage master cylinder in it. It wouldn't surprise me if it was, uh, even though the car is a low miles or original car. Uh, just from age, a lot of the brake uh, systems have to be uh, uh, rejuvenated through the years. Uh, the, uh, the motor itself is just uh, absolutely gorgeous. The paint on it is correct, has the original starting to turn yellow already uh, uh, bottle for the uh, overflow of the radiator. Uh, washer bottle is correct and still the uh, black colored plastic the way it should be. Correct. Uh, uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds, which I mentioned, and it does have the uh, uh, correct style exhaust system on it too. There's nothing been really moused around on this car at all. Brand spanking new battery installed in the vehicle, and again, you can see everything legible on the uh, Kyle Tag 242 code. Has the original um, sound deadener type uh, material underneath the hood, which the hood's painted flat black underneath, just the way it should be, also. Uh, these cars were really overachievers. Pontiac rated them at 360 horsepower, um, and they produced considerably more than that. These cars would run door to door with a lot of 440 Mopars. 1967 was the first year that they offered the uh, uh, 400 uh, in the GTO. Tri powers were no longer available. 66 was the last year for a tri power car. But these motors produced the same horsepower with a single four barrel as the tri powers cars did. Uh, fantastic engine compartment. You can see that there's never been anything disrupted on the nose of it here. Nothing's appeared to have been painted on the inside of the fender wells or anything. Uh, the engine compartment is just the way it would have been uh, in 1967 when this car was uh, uh, released. I don't see anything that's been disrupted other than the addition of a new power uh, uh, brake master cylinder and a new battery. Other than that, everything appears to be as it was in 1967 when this car was released by uh, General Motors. Let's go around the rest of this guy. Hi, you're at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we're going to present to you a 1967 Pontiac GTO with the HO YZ motor in it. Um, one of my particular favorite cars here. In fact, I had this car for about, uh, about a week and a half, two weeks. I hated to give it back, but we had to bring it back in and get it cleaned up and uh, ready to present to you. So. I had to give it back. Here it is. Let's go over it. All right. Um, the gap on the hood, you can see, is just absolutely gorgeous. And the fitment of the hood, the whole way across the front, down the sides, cowl area, just as sweet as can be. It is not a Ram Air car. They did offer Ram Air. It's the only option this car does not have, with the exception of air conditioning. It does not have air. Other than that, I think every option that was available at Pontiac is on this car. So these are still sealed up. The paint on this car is just as nice as you would ever want to find. I can't tell you that it's original. I think it looks like it's original lacquer. It's almost too nice to be original paint. Um, no dents, no deviations, no warbles in the hood. The correct paint on this car, um, Mariner Turquoise is the name of the color in this car too, by the way. Chrome around the... Um, Front basils is just as flawless as you would ever, ever want to find. Really, really great condition. Let's check this guy out. Same way, same thing. You can see the paint high luster on it. Trim around the grill. 
67 had an absolutely gorgeous grill. It was metal and it was like a, a, a graded uh, type of metal. It was really, really a nice uh, grill. Um, parking lights almost appear to be fog lights. They are not. They are parking lights on these particular vehicles. And this one here we're going to have to clear up a little bit. It's got some moisture in it from when Jeff washed it. So this guy here, the seal must uh, be leaking a little bit. So we're going to have to take that guy apart and um, seal it up a little better and dry out the moisture in it. Uh, front fascia, totally undisrupted. You can see the front bumper is just absolutely as gorgeous as it can be. And the fitment is... That's as nice as you're going to find one. That, that is a nice fit in the front end on this car. Really nice front bumper. No dents or marks or anything from anything backing into it through the years. Uh, the chrome on the front bumper is just as it was when it was new. GTO designation in the uh, uh, chrome top style uh, graded grill that you see. Uh, Pontiac emblem on the front, just as nice as can be. A couple of very little fine stone chips. And I mean just a few, very, very few, which kind of leads me to believe that this is original paint on this car. I don't see any place where it's been uh, oversprayed or blended or anything. It appears to be the original paint on the car. Mariner turquoise, great color, um, great front end of the car, a little fog in that uh, uh, turn signal uh, lamp, but other than that, a front end of this car is absolutely as nice as you would ever hope to find one. Let's see what we can find on the side for you. Okay, down the side of our 67 GTO, you can see the paint is just absolutely stunning on this car. Stainless steel, nice and bright and polished yet along the bottom. Wheel lip moldings just fit just as they should. I can't even get my fingernail in between the body and the uh, molding itself. Door fitment is gorgeous. GTO designation on the bottom of the uh, fender, just the way it should be. The hood, the cowl area, to the windshield, to the A-pillars, everything fits just as though it should. Trim around the front windshield, no marks whatsoever, correct wiper arms and correct blades for this car. Also, the uh, windshield, which is the original windshield in the car, is a tinted window, tinted glass with the sun fade on top, sunshade on top. Um, dashboard, no cracks, no marks, um, no distortion. Metal part of the dashboard transitions to the base of the windshield like the day it was made. There's absolutely no dirt, no crap or anything in the base of it. Just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Obviously a vinyl top, uh, and it is the original vinyl top that came on this car. And there's no, there's no lifting whatsoever even in the uh, drip rail area, which the drip rail itself no marks, no dinghies, no, no, no absolutely anything on it. Um, there's usually patina on the side of these uh, chrome uh, uh, wings, and this one has absolutely none. There's absolutely nothing. Tinted glass on the side, you can see, and look at the fitment of the window. We started doing these with the windows up so that you can see that the rear window and the front window match just as nice as can possibly be. Nice soft rubbers. Uh, we did replace the rubbers on this car. Uh, the rubbers were starting to age and they're starting to crack in here and there. And We just put new rubbers on the car. In the doors, around the uh, windows, uh, the trunk, uh, everything's been replaced with new, uh, new rubbers. Remote control mirror, uh, top of the doors, no dents whatsoever, original door handles, chrome is exactly as it was when it was new. The paint on this car is just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we just had it wet sanded and buffed and uh, the paint is a foot deep on this car. It could not possibly be any nicer or uh, uh, deeper or straighter than it is. Uh, Pontiac little finite uh, door edge guard that they offered as an option. Um, this car when you see, we're going to point out some of the options on this car, but the option list it's just incredible. Like I said, the only thing that I could find missing, it does not have air conditioning and um, something else. I can't remember what it was, but it does not have air conditioning. Other than that, I think pretty much everything else is there. Trim around the bottom, you can see lines up just as it should. It's really, really nice. I got to show you this because we're not going to be able to see it in the interior. Uh, the inside of these doors, all original paint yet, nothing's ever been disrupted on the car, and again, all the new rubbers we just replaced. 
can't see the door, but you'll see it when we do the interior uh, presentation, has a power seat in it. When did you ever see a Pontiac GTO with a power seat and a tilt wheel? And it has a wood grain wheel in it. We're going to go over all that on the uh, interior presentation, but I just wanted to show you how nice this car was and how nice everything fit on this car. New rubbers. Um, quarter panel. Trim around the wheel. Just as sweet as can be. Again, the stainless steel along the bottom. Our GTO designation on the back. Sail panel in the back, just as nice. There's no separation whatsoever anywhere on the um, uh, vinyl on this top, which is the original the vinyl top of this car. Trim around the back window. Well, there's a little. There's two little tiny dinghies here. You've got to look at them at an angle to see them, but they're there. Original hat rack, uh, it has a uh, rear defroster in it. Um, tinted glass in the back. Trim around the base of the top, lines up just as it should the whole way around here. Uh, God, this car is absolutely stunning. Paint on this thing, laser straight down the sides. It looks like the car doesn't have any doors from this point. It's just as nice and straight and lined up as could possibly be. Rally two wheels. Red line, bias ply tires on this guy, uh, which would have been correct for the year 1967. It has the correct PMD centers, it has the correct PMD lug nuts on it, uh, which have the uh, black centered uh, plastic pieces inside the lug nuts. So the, you got Rally 2s, red line tires, which this car was released with, uh, Mariner turquoise paint, vinyl top, tinted glass. And no marks, no dents, no scratches, no dinghies whatsoever on the front and the driver's side. Let's do the back end and see what we can find for you there. Okay, back end of our little 67 GTO. And again, you can see the trim around the, uh, the rear section of this car just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Absolutely stunning. Nice fitment, nice polished uh, uh, stainless and anodized aluminum. GTO designation. Uh, Nice fit on this side, going up around, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. There's no distortions whatsoever. There's absolutely nothing. There's a couple of, and again, you wouldn't fit this. You wouldn't even make an attempt to fix this. There's a little bit of a fade right here, maybe a little bit light whenever they painted it. Maybe somebody got a little bit overzealous with a, a buffer a polisher at some point of its life. I don't know, but certainly nothing that you're even going to see in the video, but I am pointing it out. And a little bit here too. I don't know what this is, but uh, you can't really see it, but I can feel something there. But again, something that you would not even begin to address on this vehicle with its originality. The back panel of the car, again, Pontiac had a real dramatic looking uh, uh, taillight system on it, you know, four on each side, um, inset into the back uh, fascia panel here, and just as smooth and perfect, as nice as can be. There's no distortions whatsoever on it. I don't see anything at all on this car. Um, okay, bumper fitment. Same as the front. You're not going to get any better than that. That's an, that guy fits just absolutely flawlessly. Uh, two turn downs instead of the chrome extensions. That's the other option that was missing. Could have uh, two uh, stainless steel extensions, trumpet style. Uh, uh, pipes that came straight out the back as opposed to the turn downs. This particular one has turn downs on it. Uh, nice clear uh, backup light uh, lenses. And again, the chrome on the bumper is just exemplary, and it is the original bumper. It just could not be any nicer than it is. Uh, this edge of this trunk is just up just a little bit, but it's, it's not loose, so that means I've got to adjust this uh, rubber stopper on this side to allow that trunk to just go down just a little bit more. Yeah, that's what it is. I have to adjust that stopper. Uh, that's it. That's the only thing we found so far other than a little fog and a light. Let's do the uh, passenger side. Okay, starting at the back of our little GTO. Again, you can see the paint, the bumper fitment, just as nice as you're going to ever find. Stainless along the bottom. Power antenna also. And it works. And the radio works. Trim around the wheel well, the same as the other side. There's absolutely a flawless fitment of it. Trim around the back window, around the base of your um, 
vinyl top or around the uh, back light. Again, no marks on that back uh, window at all, uh, other than those two little tiny marks. And you, again, you shouldn't have even mentioned it, but they're not even hardly there, but they are uh, in that one piece of trim there. Uh, other than that, that's, the rest of it is absolutely flawless. Again, the original vinyl top on it hasn't been replaced. Uh, paint on a quarter panel, the tops of the... This is all as nice as you could ever, ever hope to find in a car. Tall, nice and tight in the uh, drip rail area. And the drip rail itself, same as the other side. No marks, no chips, no dinghies. Look at this. <laughs> Both sides. Back window to the front window. Door window, just as nice as you'd ever, ever want. Neglected to mention on the other side, the wipes, whiskers are the original ones and they do not need replaced. They're really, really great condition. You can see they have a little bit of age to them, but uh, they absolutely are as new condition and absolutely do not require uh, any replacement. Same thing with this door handle. It is the original door handle, there's no question. Um, door edge guard the same way. No marks or dinghies on the top of this one either. Same as the other side. And again, flawless chrome on the uh, wing area. Again, our nice soft rubbers that we just uh, put in the doors in the uh, window sill area. The door itself, again, not a single chip, mark, scuff, deviation, fitment of the quarter to the door, door to the front fender, the same as it was on the other side, Pontiac designation. Fitment, hey, yeah, this guy here could go down just a hair. Oh, loose hinge. Now it's down. Let's go back where we started. Again, I didn't find a single scratch, dent, um, deviation, a couple little tiny places where I think uh, somebody got a little overzealous with a buffer. I think it is the original paint on the car. It's hard to tell. Um, it's just a, a car that's a survivor that has the original interior in it, which we'll see here in a second. It's a very, very high option car. And we'll go over some of the options once we do the interior presentation. But I drove this car for about a week and a half, maybe even two weeks. I didn't want to give it back. It's a really great car. It does have PMD uh, documentation, the original owner's manuals, and the build sheet that goes with this guy. So we do have paperwork to uh, authenticate this car. Um, great color combination. Very high option car, other than the exhaust tips and the uh, air conditioning, which is the only two that I'm aware of are missing. Um, the, the wheels are flawless. The uh, uh, paint on this car is just exemplary. Uh, it's one of the icons of uh, muscle car history. You know, Pontiac GTO, uh, arguably one of the first muscle cars out there in 1964. This is 67. Pretty much after 67, no one cared, but 67 was a very, very iconic year for uh, uh, Pontiac and, and the GTO. It was a very popular model, it garnered a lot more attention than the uh, 66 did. has a stainless steel along the bottom, uh, a more dramatic uh, uh, grill area in it. Uh, just a kind of a sharper car with some of the accents that Pontiac chose to do with the vehicle. And uh, this particular car is as it was in 1967 when it was released by Pontiac. It's a fantastic condition. It's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. We always encourage everyone to come down and look at the cars. I mean, it would really excite me to just go over this car with you in person, show you the uh, uh, undercarriage, show you the interior, show you the engine, go for a ride, uh, show you anything you want about the car. I can explain any part of this vehicle that you're interested in. Um, and we encourage everyone to do that. Come down and visit us, uh, take a look at our inventory, not only this car, but the remainder of our inventory. We try to keep about 80 cars on the floor at all times, and uh, we do a pretty good job at uh, picking out some pretty nice cars for you. So look at this one, because it's one that is exemplary. Hangsters, Daytona Beach. Okay, uh, we have a little bit of documentation for this guy. We have a slew of uh, service receipts through the years for this thing. Uh, on the back part here, we've got a whole bunch of them for you to look through. You'll spend a good bit of time doing that. We have the original PMD documented, uh, the documentation authenticating this as a true 67 Pontiac GTO and uh, uh, 
giving you an explanation as to uh, the generation of the car and, and how it came to be and everything. We also have the um, um, shipping manifest, some call it, uh, IBM card, build sheet, uh, whatever you want for the car. It also is here and check this out, Pontiac marks off the option list on the car. I have never seen a muscle car ever with that many marked off options on a car. Look at that. That's just totally amazing to have a car with that many options. Like I said, to my knowledge, the only two missing, there's no air conditioning and there's no chrome tips on the exhaust. Other than that, this guy got it all, every bit of it. And here's the original owner's manual that was released with this car, not a reprint. It's 1967 print, the original owner's manual. So you have documentation showing this, that this is a correct GTO. It also shows on the title as actual miles. It does not show exempt. We're going to try as much as we can to keep everything uh, that is actual miles, actual miles. Very low mile car. Fantastic condition. We do have authenticated paperwork for the car. And we're going to do the interior for you now and the drive. And then I think you're going to have everything you need to... Uh, look at this car for uh, your purchase here at Hangsters. Hi, you're in our 1967 Pontiac GTO. A real authentic, unmolested, low mile representation of a uh, 1967 GTO Pontiac. Um, again, no cracks on the uh, dashboard itself. Uh, there's no distortions whatsoever. Uh, original sun visors on it, and they're in excellent condition. Nice taunt. Uh, headliner still in. Uh, excellent condition. Dome lights with the optional map light for passenger and the driver. You have one on each side plus a kick panel light that works and for the rear passengers a uh, console light that's even functioning as it should. Uh, his and hers shifter, uh, Pontiac wooden ball on the top of it. Um, console of course you know it's uh, in the center. Uh, nice chrome on the uh, console is just as it was when it was new. Fantastic condition, nice wood, uh, simulated wood steering wheel that was an option also for Pontiac. Nice tri-spoke with the, uh, they're polished on the outside with uh, brushed uh, stainless uh, insets in them. Door panels, front, rear, uh, rear ashtrays, ashtrays uh, and the armrests uh, in the back are original. The uh, upholstery on the back seat is original. The front seat is original. The interior in this car is original. It has not been replaced. This is not replacement. It's originality. The original carpeting in the car, the original wood on the dash is still very, very nice and intact. Um, everything in this car works. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where. AM, FM radio. Uh, it has an 8 track player, which is also an option. And the 8-track uh, player also functions as it should. It has windshield wipers that are two speed. It has a full instrumentation. It has tachometer, speedometer, and the uh, quadrant to gauges to go with it. Pontiac grab rail on the right-hand side, GTO designation. Check this out. Power windows. Power windows in the back, power windows in the front. Uh, Pontiac designation on the um, uh, door panels. Uh, stainless steel trim around the brake gas and uh, parking brake cable. Astro ventilation. Uh, remote control, driver's side mirror. This car is missing only two options to my uh, recollection. Air conditioning and the uh, trumpet exhaust out the back in stainless steel. Other than that, it has everything. Rear defroster, um, tape player, AM, FM radio, power steering, tilt wheel. Uh, this car is a completely loaded, loaded muscle car. It would be very difficult to find another duplication of this one. Plus, it has the paperwork to go along with it. Seat belts in the back, seat belts in the front. I don't know what else I can show you. Even the chrome on the uh, uh, armrest in the front and the back is still original and in excellent condition. Really not distorted or uh, disrupted much at all. Uh, what's really amazing is the uh, wood grain on this dash. Uh, usually these are starting to peel and flake through the years, and this one is not. It's still nice and bright as can possibly be. Uh, oh, we got trash trays in the back. We got a trash tray up front. Uh, this is one of the finest muscle cars that we have. I mean, it, it's an, a nice original 
car that uh, hasn't been molested through the years, no one's put headers on it or cammed it or, or done anything radically whatsoever with it mechanically. It's a low mile car. Uh, it, it's in as nice condition as you'll ever, ever find a Pontiac GTO. Mariner Turquoise, which is a great color, black vinyl top, black end. Uh, it's available here at Hangsters, and we encourage you to come down and take a look at this guy because it's worth taking a look at. It's worth the trip. I'm smiling because I really like this car. I, uh, I had this car for about, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks, maybe even more than that. I really didn't want to bring it back, but we had to bring it back and uh, wet sand it and puff it and go over things on it and uh, uh, just get it ready for sale. Uh, I just kind of hated to give it up, but I had to. Um, this car is the highest option uh, GTO I've ever seen, ever. Uh, and it, pretty much everything in it works. There's a couple little glitches in it, but uh, check this out. Power seat. Huh? Huh? Power seat, the GTO. Up, down, front, back. Horn that works. Uh, the lights I know work. I drove it at night. Uh, wipers that function just as they should. Ah, uh, let's see what else we got here. A fuel gauge showing us just a little bit under a half a tank of fuel. Uh, Jeffrey just got fuel in it for us. Um, the um, um, oil pressure, nice and high. It actually pegs the gauge. Uh, the temperature coming up just the way it should. The tachometer is not working, and I don't know why it isn't. It wasn't when I drove it either, so it's probably a wire loose in the back. We'll have to find out why. But uh, the tach, I know, isn't working. Um, the speedometer, I know, is because I had a substantial speed. Tilt wheel. Um, check this out. AM FM radio Pontiac still functions original radio that this car was released with guess what power antenna up and down power antenna rear defroster where did you ever see one of these cars with a rear defroster and check this out how about a Beach Boys tape playing in the 8 track player when was the last time you saw that? Beach Boys playing in our 8-track. It still functions Pontiac player for 1967. Pretty neat, huh? Really neat. Uh, power steering, power windows. Everything works as it should. There's Devons going up and down. You can't see it, but I can. Left rear. Right rear. All function as they should. Power windows in the GTO. His and hers shifter. Um, I can't think of anything else I missed here. Uh, pretty much went over everything on the vehicle. Um, it, it's just a, it's just a phenomenal low mile original uh, Pontiac GTO. So let's go for a little ride here. Nice running car. Um, like I said, I drove this car for a while. I hated to give it up. Speedometer working just as it should. Uh, Again, our tachometer not working, but there it's speedometer functioning as it should. Um, car runs real nice, and, uh, down the road straight as it, it, it can go. Let's try uh, brakes. Oh, there's a car behind me. Might be a little upset with me here. We'll do it down at the bank with the brakes. This guy's kind of on the tail here. A nice tight car, and there's no question that it's a uh, shows 13,500 miles, and uh, the odometer is functioning, and it shows actual miles on the uh, uh, title on this vehicle, also. Good running GTO 360 horse, got a nice sound to it, nice throaty growl to it. Growl, Pontiac uh, uh, marketing theme. Yeah, this is somebody back here. Yeah. can't afford to get caught again. I think the next time they threaten to tie me to the 35 mile an hour uh, speed sign and shoot me. So, 
nice running GTO. Real nice throaty sound to it. It runs fine, pulls fine. Each shift is nice and clean as can possibly be. Nice and crisp. Uh, nice running car. Uh, it's, a, it's the nicest GTO I've seen for years and years and years because of its originality. I like original. And this thing's original down to the bias ply red line tires that are in it. Underneath our 1967 Pontiac GTO, a real 242 code car, uh, with all the paperwork and documentation also with this guy. Uh, it is the optional 360 horse motor and it's an actual mild car. So that shows why it's an actual mild car, you'll see here in a second. Uh, it has a set of replacement shocks in the front, front springs are nice and taut yet, uh, no leaks whatsoever from the power steering box or the engine. Uh, at some point of its life, some rocket scientist decided to try to de, uh, uh, jack the vehicle up by the oil pan, so it's caved in a little tiny bit. We'll probably try to push that out some uh, through the uh, drain plug hole. Wayne's been pretty good at doing that for us lately. Uh, the lower A-arms uh, appear to be all original on it. Uh, disc brakes in the front. Calipers are nice and fresh looking. All the uh, Associated hardware is really good and fresh looking on the car, no leaks or anything. It's all original. It doesn't appear to have been replaced uh, other than the front shocks. Everything else appears to be uh, original. Uh, no leaks from the oil pan, as you can see. Uh, oil filter was just changed. Uh, new sending unit for the oil pressure gauge, turbo uh, tranny in the car. And you can see there's also no leaks on the transmission. It has a standard Pontiac uh, uh, full box frame in the front that transitions onto two C channel frames that go the whole way to the back where it goes back into a box channel again. Um, floor pans on this car are absolutely flawless. They are as they left the factory in 1967. Uh, this is an actual mild car. It shows about 13,000, I think, five, six, seven, eight hundred. I can't remember. I drove it for about a week. So um, uh, the car runs out well. Floor pans, again, no marks, no jack marks, up, 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 and no dents, uh, uh, no perforations, uh, no scale or rust or deterioration of any type present. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. I don't see anything on the front end of this car. The uh, original sway bar bushings are still nice and fresh looking. It does have the heavy duty Pontiac uh, GTO suspension with the front sway bar. This. Uh, this car is just as nice a GTO as you're ever going to find. All your substructures on the uh, floor pans themselves are really nice. Uh, there's no jack marks on them through the years also. And actually, I don't really even see anything on the frame. Usually these, friends are, these frames are bent up somewhat from uh, people lifting these cars up through the years on the jacks or putting jack stands on, but I really don't see anything that's evident to that uh, underneath this vehicle. Parking brake, uh, still original and functional. Uh, I'm gonna call, it has standard uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds also, which are the Hypo uh, 360 split type uh, exhaust cast iron manifolds. I'm going to call these two and an eighth inch primary pipes, uh, which are as new condition, uh, transitioning back into two uh, turbo style. Um, I don't know the actual name of them, but they appear to be a uh, turbo style muffler, and they're also as new condition. Original um, fuel line and brake lines from the front to the back. There'd certainly be no reason to replace them with only those few miles on this vehicle. Again, the uh, drive shaft is nice and clean, as is the rest of the undercarriage of this car. Floor pans in the rear uh, for the rear passenger are the same as they were up front here, absolutely undisrupted. There's, a, there's no uh, dense deviations. No one's tried to jack them up on the floor pans through the years. They use the oil pan instead. Um, C channels go back to a square channel frame in the back here, which again will transition back to a C channel toward the rear of the vehicle. But we're over halfway through this car, and as you can see, there's no leaks on the drive line. Uh, there's no uh, distortions or marks or, or, or anything on the uh, floor pans of this vehicle or the frame structure of this vehicle or any of the suspension. It's just as new a car as you could ever hope to find. 
Uh, we'll go through the uh, other half of this and see if we can show you there. Okay, second half of our GTO. Uh, again, you can see the uh, uh, turbo style mufflers that we uh, discussed where the two and an eighth inch pipes go into. Two and an eighth inch out the back also. Uh, the correct hangers, which is unusual, usually you see aftermarket hangers holding an exhaust system up. These are not. These are the correct style hangers that Pontiac installed on them in 1967. Nice taunt big loop coil springs in the rear, uh, your um, swing arm suspension which is a four link style in a Pontiac GTO. Um, none of this has been jacked up on or, or, or bent or twisted or distorted in any way. Air shocks in the back, newer air shocks put in the back so that you can adjust the ride height to this uh, vehicle where you want it. Heavy duty sway bar in the rear uh, which is another uh, uh, Pontiac addition here. Um, Floor pans in the trunk are just the way they are on the rest of this vehicle. Absolutely undisrupted, as absolute new as you could possibly hope to find a car. And this is a nice low mile car, it still retains its original gas tank. A little tiny bit of a wrinkle on this side, on the driver's side here. It looks, I don't know, maybe they hit something, maybe, I don't know, very, very small distortion. I, I could probably do just as much damage just by punching it once. Um, aluminum rear end cover on this particular vehicle. Someone chose to put a uh, uh, aluminum cover on it as opposed to the uh, standard stamped steel one. The C channel sections in the back, which we discussed, are totally undisrupted. No marks on them. Uh, the bar that transitions across the back for structural support in front of the back bumper, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Drop downs in the quarters. Uh, where the quarter panels go and the panels come down on the inside of them are still original, undisrupted, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. It does not have the uh, chrome tips out the back for 67. This particular car has a standard turned down exhaust system in it. Uh, I can't see anything underneath this vehicle that would uh, uh, be out of line with originality for a, uh, a 1967 Pontiac GTO. This car is as nice a one as you're going to find. Uh, it's a beautiful color combination. Uh, we had another one very similar to this without a vinyl top, but it had a lot more miles on it and um, it had a replacement engine in it. This car, uh, on the title, it states uh, 13, well, 12,500 whenever we got the car. It's got, I believe, 13.8 on it now. It's an actual mile car. Uh, we have a stack of documentation with this guy. It's a very high option car, too, which you'll see in the rest of our video presentation. But. For what we're showing you now, the undercarriage, take a look at this because you're never going to see a nicer, straighter Pontiac GTO with originality than you do right here, right now. This is a great car, fantastic condition, except for one dent in the oil pan. Um, and that's it. I mean, this car is as nice a vehicle as you're ever going to find in a 67 GTO. Hangsters, Daytona Beach.